So let us understand the question number 5.46 of page number 671 of the book P.S. Bhimra Masin. So this is question 5.46. According to this question, a factory has a total load of 1800 kilowatt and the factory is operating at a power factor of 0.6 lagging. So what does it mean? So this is the factory. This is the supply given to the factory. Supply given to the factory and factory is drying how much complex power S1. The complex power drawn by the factory can be written in this way 1800 kilowatt divided by 0.6 angle cos inverse 0.6 This is the complex power drawn by the factory. In the complex power this is the polar form of the complex power. The magnitude of the complex power is 1800 divided by 0.6 kilo volt ampere and this is the angle. While writing the angle I have used plus sign because the factory is operating at lagging power fa factor. Because the because the factory is operating at lagging power factor that's why I, ha I have used here positive sign so let me calculate it so it will be 1800 upon 0 0.6 and cos inverse 0 0.6 equals to 53.13 now he is saying that it is desired to improve the factory power factor 2.95 lagging with the installation of a synchronous condenser. So this is the factory and I have to install one condenser. This is the condenser and the condenser will draw suppose power condenser is drawing power S2 this factory is drawing power S1 so by using a or by installing a synchronous condenser the power factor is improved to 0.95 lagging the power factor of the factory plus synchronous condenser combination this is the factory plus synchronous condenser uh, synchronous condenser combination the factory and synchronous condenser combination is working now at 0.95 power factor lagging so let me say that the combination of factory and the synchronous condenser combination is drawing power is it is drawing power S3 so I can write this thing S3 equals to S1 plus S2 if you want to write the value of S3 it will be written in this way the combination of factory and the synchronous condenser is operating at 0.95 power factor lagging and the combination will draw 1800 kilowatt real power the factory is drawing 1800 kilowatt real power and as you know that the synchronous condenser does not draw any real power so the combination of the factory and the synchronous condenser will draw 1800 plus 0 kilowatt 
real power. So the total real power drawn by the combination equals to 1800 and the combination of factory and the synchronous condenser is working at 0.95 power factor and you have to write angle here so cos inverse 0.95 if you simplify this it will be 1800 upon 0.95 and the angle will become 18.19 see the question here we have to calculate the kva rating of the synchronous condenser used so we have to find out the kva rating of the condenser used so put this value of s3 in this equation and put the value of s1 in this equation so let me write the value of s3 1800 divided by 0.95 angle 18.19 as 1 equals to 1800 upon 0.6 and the angle is 53 53.13 plus s2 we have to calculate the we have to calculate the KVA rating of the synchronous condenser. So find the value of S2. S2 equals to S3 minus S1. So S3 minus S1. So the value of S3 is this and this is the value of S1. And if you are having this calculator, Casio FX991ES, you can easily calculate it and the value after the calculation will be 1807.57 angle minus 90.03 so we can say that the rating of the synchronous condenser rating of synchronous condenser equals to 1807.57 kva this is the rating of the synchronous condenser and the synchronous condenser is operating at an angle of minus 90.03 you can ign ignore this 0 0.03 you can say it is operating at an angle minus 90 see the answer the rating of the synchronous condenser is the answer of the first question he is asking the KVA rating of the synchronous condenser and the rating of the synchronous condenser is 1807.8 KVA and this is this answer 1807 I have got 1807.57 and the answer printed answer of this book is 1807.8 kva so this is correct now the second question is we have to calculate the total kva of the factory total kva of the factory it means that we have we have to find out the total kva of factory plus synchronous condenser combination so the total kva of the factory is see this is the complex power drawn by the combination of factory and synchronous condenser this is the total complex power drawn by the factory plus synchronous condenser combination so he is asking the total kva of the factory so the total kva of the factory is 1800 upon 0.95 so if you calculate the total kva of the factory it will be 1800 upon 0.95 and the calculation is 1894.737 kva if you see the answer of the book the answer of the book is 1894.91 kva and i have got this answer so this is the correct answer 
there there is somewhat deviation and you can ignore that deviation i think you have understood this problem so by using the calculator you can easily solve this kind of problem so this was the book uh, of electrical machinery written by dr p s bhimra and we have seen this question okay thank you